I got the new Zion Crane too, so let's try it out. The Crane 2 comes in a nice hard case which protects the gimbal perfect for transportation. Even if you have to put all parts together, the Crane 2 is set up within a few minutes. The new tripod makes it easy to stay and the balancing even more easy. And yes, as you can see, I'm using a Sony A6300 with an adapted Canon lens. That means I can't use the new follow focus feature because it works only on Canon. But to be honest, this camera has a pretty good autofocus though. The main reason I use the Crane 2 is the high payload of 3.2 kg. For most other one hand gimbals, my camera setup is just too heavy or too big. So the Crane 2 seemed to be the perfect solution for me, especially for traveling. I always collapse the tripod while filming and use it as an extended grip for my second hand so I can use the leverage to control the gimbal as smooth as possible. And that actually works better for me than on a regular gimbal like the Ronin or Movie. The joystick is perfect to control the tilt of the camera and if you get used to the sensitivity, you'll get also really smooth tilts. But as like most things, you must practice a little. The feature I enjoy most is to start and stop recording during the control button if you connect the camera with a USB cable to the gimbal. I really hope there will be a firmware update to control all the other camera features as well as on Sony and not only on Canon, but we will see. The gimbal has three different modes. The standard pan following mode works best for me. In that mode the gimbal follows your movements but does not tilt in any direction. If I need to tilt the camera, I do it mostly manual with the joystick. Of course, you can switch to following mode to avoid that or use lock mode to face the camera straight into one direction. There are also a couple of features if you connect the gimbal with the smartphone app, which I haven't tested yet. But you can use it for example to calibrate the motors or slow down the pan or roll movement if it's too fast for you. I also really like that Zion installed a quick release plate. If you are a run and gun shooter like me, you know there are some situations where you have to switch quickly between different kind of stabilizers to get the right shot. I'm just still thinking about how it will attach an external monitor or recorder on the gimbal. Of course I can use a magic arm and attach it instead of a tripod, but that's not the solution I'm looking for. But of course I will let you know if I find something. As conclusion I can say the Crane 2 is amazing. I used a much bigger gimbal before which was always annoying to travel with. The Crane 2 is still small and has a lot more features. And from what I've seen so far the footage looks even smoother than on my older gimbal. Of course, these are just my first impressions and I have to test it much more during the upcoming weeks and try all the features I haven't discovered yet. But for me, the Crane 2 looks like the missing piece I was looking for, for my upcoming trip. So stay tuned and enjoy the final video. There's no reason to play. 